want to be with you at the end of the track. You know what? Do you warn them, brother? Or do you tell them tonight? Or do you want, and I don't want to hurt your feelings tonight. You know what? You're looking good tonight. Every day you got your hair fixed just right. And you got your tie straight. You look good tonight. Brother, I'm here to tell you tonight. Good looks ain't going to get you into heaven tonight. You're going to have to go through the blood of Jesus Christ tonight. Brother, I'm here to tell you tonight. Uh, do you warn them? Or do you tell them uh, you're doing good, honey? I'm telling you that they love that sugar coated honey you know what it tastes good huh? but you know what it causes worms tonight you know what tonight uh, brother I'm here to tell you tonight uh, Paul said to tell them tonight that, brother if you got problems in your life there are things going wrong and you know what they're going to go wrong here they are tonight Brother, this ain't heaven, honey. And I'm here to tell you, until we get there, there's going to be problems. There's things going to be wrong in our life. Brother Tim, and everything ain't going to work right. You get up in the morning and everything just don't do, do right. And you know what? And then in everyday life, we was at work of the morning and and one of the men come in and, and you know what I know something was wrong with that space because he was down and you know what he told me he said you know what he said brother Jim my wife uh, they something she, she got a cyst on her and, and, uh, and they need to take her to the doctor and they need to get you know what God can fix that tonight there's going to be problems in our lives there's going to be things that's not right tonight but I'm here to tell you tonight to a child of God this is the only hell you'll ever go through, honey. This is the closest you'll ever get to it, honey. Because I'm telling you tonight, the Paul said tonight, he said, in flaming, in flaming fire, taking vengeance tonight. Uh, brother, God is going to take vengeance tonight. You know what, brother? Hey, what? If God don't take vengeance upon it tonight, if he don't punish sin, uh, brother Tim, he's going to have to apologize uh, for all those before us tonight. And I'm here to tell you tonight, God don't make no mistakes tonight. In hell, they're going to lift up their eyes being in torment. The rich man, that's what he done tonight. He lifted up his eyes tonight. The Bible said in flaming, he took in vengeance on them that know not God and obey not the gospel tonight. And he said, obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, not any other, not, not, not just any gospel tonight. Hey, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction uh, from the presence of the Lord tonight? From the presence of the Lord tonight. If you're here, if you're out there tonight and you don't know Jesus Christ, you know what one of the punishments of hell is? You're not going to be in the presence of God. You're not going to see, you're not going to be in the presence of his glory. You're not going to be, you know what? They say, well, Brother Jim, God don't exist. Brother, I'm here to tell you, you don't know what you're saying tonight because I'm here to tell you if God took his hand upon this, off this nation and this world, Brother, I'm here to tell you, you're going to see one day what it's really going to be like. You better be thankful tonight that God loves you tonight. God loves you tonight. God, God loves each and every one of us tonight. He loved us enough that he sent his son to die for our sins. You know what? That's love tonight. That's love when someone will lay down his life for they. Why? You know what? He loved us when we didn't love him. And I appreciate it tonight. We thank Brother A.Y. and Brother Jim for having us down tonight. And you know what? If you're out there and you're lost and you don't know Jesus Christ, I'm here to tell you tonight. Yeah. I don't care about Paul, but the man tonight, hell right. is real tonight. Yeah. You say, Brother Jim, do you believe it's real tonight? You know, the evidence says it is tonight because the Word says it is tonight. And we appreciate you tonight. If you're out there and you're struggling and you've got troubles, you know what? Turn them over to God. If you're out there and you're lost tonight without Jesus Christ, you know what? Do not leave this world without him tonight. Call up on him when he's near tonight. We appreciate it tonight. We got... We got uh, Sylvester and uh, Daisy Patterson uh, needing prayer. And yeah. Tonight we want to remember them in prayer. And, uh, and tonight, and thank God for the program tonight. It's been Amen. good. Amen. Uh, Amen. These uh, singers almost had me ready to have a pitch here tonight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they bless my heart. I hope if you got blessed as good as I did at home tonight, you've been blessed. Yeah.
tonight. But we're going to pray for these prayer requests. It's a good message tonight. Thank God for the message. Our most and gracious Heavenly Fathers, we come before you tonight. And, uh, Lord, we just want to lift these people up before you tonight, knowing and realizing that, Lord, that you're able tonight to touch them, Lord. And, Father, meet each need that they have tonight. And, Father, we pray that you just move in their behalf tonight according to your will. And, dear Heavenly Father, we pray for those in the hospitals and, Lord, those in the nursing homes tonight. That God, that you just give them a good night's rest. And yes, Father, touch them tonight, dear yes, Heavenly sir. Father. And Lord, we just ask you now, God, to, as we're about to be separated from this place, that Lord, that you will give us travel and mercy. And Lord, watch over us until we meet again. And Father, we'll never fail to bow our worldly heads and give you the praise, for we ask it in the name of Jesus and amen. amen. 